10 Most Notorious Gangsters of the Prohibition Era 1. John Dillinger Dillinger was the leader of the so-called terror banks. In the early 1930s, they terrorized the country. Dillinger's notoriety led to the establishment of the FBI. He was proclaimed public enemy number one. In 1934, he was gunned down by police outside a movie theater. 2. Al Capone Capone was the first mobster to make millions. He built an empire based on bootlegging. Capone set a high standard for mob boss brutality. He wouldn't hesitate to kill a cop or a politician. He was known for beating several people to death with baseball bats. In the end, Capone was put away for tax evasion. 3. Bumpy Johnson Johnson ran mafia rackets in Harlem. He made a deal with Lucky Luciano that made him a Harlem hero. Luciano took over number rackets, while Johnson controlled the rest. Johnson was sentenced to 15 years for heroin trafficking. When he returned to Harlem in 1963, he was greeted with a parade. 4. Lucky Luciano No mobster in American history was more influential than Lucky Luciano. He created the National Crime Syndicate and the Commission. The syndicate was a ruling body for mob families all over the country. The commission included the heads of five ruling mob families in New York City. Luciano turned the mafia into a legitimate power in America. Luciano was sent to prison in 1936, but released after the war. He went back to his native Italy, where he passed away in 1962. 5 and 6. Bonnie and Clyde Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow have become folk heroes. They traveled the country robbing banks, gas stations, and grocery stores. They also killed those who stood in their way. The public often saw them as modern Robin Hoods. Bonnie and Clyde were gunned down in their car in 1934. 7. Meyer Lansky Lansky was the most powerful Jewish gangster that ever lived. In his time, the Jewish mob was fully on par with the Italian Mafia. He helped Luciano establish the syndicate. Lansky was popularly known as the mob's accountant. He set up gambling empires all over the world. Meyer invested heavily in his offshore operations. He kept a lower profile in his later years and lived to be 80. 8. Bugsy Siegel Siegel made his living in the worlds of bootlegging and gambling. He was a close associate of Meyer Lansky. Bugsy is responsible for creating Las Vegas as we know it. He spearheaded the development for his own gambling empire. He was killed in 1947 after an alleged disagreement with Lansky. 9. Frank Costello Costello was nicknamed the Prime Minister of the Underworld. This title reflected his vast political influence. Costello ruled the Luciano crime family. He was one of the most popular bosses. He also owned a poultry business and many other legitimate enterprises. Costello retired after being shot. 10. A. Brellis Brellis, aka Kid Twist, was a hitman for murdering. His nickname reflected his favorite killing method. Brellis rammed an ice pick in his victim's ear and twisted it. He eventually turned state's evidence. Brellis sent many of his former associates to the electric chair. He died in 1941 while in police custody after falling out a window 